I grew up in a flying family. I was born in 1961. My parents, uh, you know, were flying Cessnas and whatnot. Uh, anyway, uh, they both always wanted to have an AT6. So in 1966, in April, they bought a North American AT6 uh, from Hillman, Michigan, which I still have. Uh, it's a uh, uh, 1951 North American T6G. It was originally built in Dallas, Texas in April of 1945 as an AT6D for training cadets in World War II. Yeah, the uh, inside of the airplane is uh, mostly all original. Uh, I pulled the front instrument panel out and uh, overhauled all the instruments and it has modern electric gyros in it. The airplane is IFR capable. It carries 140 gallons of fuel so you can fly for four hours which is about 600 nautical miles and you'll make about 150 knots. So you can go from here to uh, Los Angeles, California in a day and you'll be broke when you get there and tired. <laughs> unique airplane. It was uh, built specially for the South African Air Force. It was built out of all new parts by Volatan Aircraft Service in uh, Van Nuys, California in 1952. The airplane has not had any exterior work done to it. It's got the original paint markings that it had when it flew with the South African uh, aerobatic team. As I said earlier, it's a Pratt Whitney R1340 AN1. It's the uh, engine that all the AT6 Texans, SNJs, and Harvards that were used in Canada uh, used as the uh, engine power plant. Uh, the engines were built uh, from uh, uh, 1926. I think the last one of these was built in 1957 or 58. The limitation is not the airplane. The limitation is the pilot. So this is a plane built in Germany. It's the extra 300L. It's the hottest two-place airplane available. It does loops, rolls, it'll tumble end over end, uh, both ways, this nose over tail, wing over wing, uh, it'll fall backwards, uh, it does all kind of crazy tricks, all kind of rolls and things, point rolls, four point, eight point. It's a wonderful airplane.